to the right, you'll get a nice shot of our Brownstone Street. This is one of our most filmed backlot locations. In fact, Jim Carrey lived on our Brownstone Street in Bruce Almighty. But not only have famous stars appeared on these sets, but famous cars as well. Take a look at your screens. Back in 1980, the building on our left looks very different than it did in the film. That's because the original courthouse became so recognizable after Back to the Future that filmmakers had to build a facade in front of it in order to change its appearance enough for use in later productions. Most recently, you see... <laughs> Miss Monroe, how about some pictures? Of course, anything for my fans. filming all of the you've seen the streets in a lot of big blockbuster films like Transformers, Captain America, The First Avenger, and The Amazing Spider-Man, as well as lots of TV shows like The Mindy Project, House, NCIS, How I Met Your Mother, and Reba Public. But then, of course, he got the chance to film Jaws. And the rest is history. So I was thrilled when Universal invited me back to Skull Island, and it's great to have you along for the ride. Now we have created this 3D immersive experience. So you Six point six and thirty one. 
and the film was Frankenstein, one of the most important horror films ever made. Being out in this historic and creepy sets at night, you can almost hear the angry villagers, pitchforks and torches in hand on the haunt of Dr. Frankenstein's monster. language version with different actors using the same set filmed at night. Take a look at your screens. I am Dracula. Sorry, Dracula. the neighborhood. On your left, the tan color house. That one belongs to Gabriel Solis, character played by Eva Longoria. Her neighbors on the lilac house were Bob and Alive. During the last season, they used to have an ugly bath at the entrance of their house. And on this yellow house on your left as well, lived Susan Meyer or Delfino once she got married, character played by Terry Hatcher. Across the street on the Brick and Blue House lived Bree Bambacamp, character played by Marsha Cross. And on the Gray House on your left lived Lynette Scavo. She was the blonde mom of the trouble. On your right we have some of the Whoville sets. And as Lord to Norman Bates. No setting could have more atmosphere at night than the iconic home of Norman Bates from Psycho. It was a dark and stormy night when Marion Crane took the road away from the highway and stumbled upon the Bates Motel. They'll see, they'll see and they'll know and they'll say. 
show you one of the most impressive sets in Hollywood. The crash slide from the movie War of the Worlds, directed by Steven Spielberg. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision that Steven had. When you first began to sit down and talk about the War of the Worlds, I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's just, just something you don't see. You're doing good. Well, you're doing good. Keep your eyes on me. That's what I am. I'm going to sit down you. Close your eyes, okay? Sit down close. Okay. Robbie, get in. <laughs> 